I have a knife. I have an ultimaker. We have an unboxing video. Sorry, bad joke, I know. Okay, so um, I've actually been trying out this machine for a little while, but I knew that I didn't do an unboxing. So I want to tease you the review that I'm working on with this machine that I unboxed earlier. But I want to show you what's inside and then let's just do a little bit of a teaser and a, like uh, beauty shots and stuff like that. So you get a good view on what's inside and how it looks. So let's start off with cutting the box open. Which yeah, I did that once before. We open it up and it looks kind of interesting from the top. So I'm actually gonna just make sure that you can see this. So that's how it looks above. You see there's a little Ultimaker, there's a... It's actually glued on there, but there's a calibration tube with some stringing. That's not good. Anyway, it's... It. <laughs> Why is there stringing? I'll, I'll show you a zoom of that later. So, okay, let's put this on the floor. Remember guys, lift it with your back, not with your legs. Let's see here. Ta-da! Okay, this looks cool. What orientation do we have? Something like that maybe? Is that the points? This is the sides? Okay, cool. Very nice. Oh, you see the new cover here. Ah, exciting. So let's uh, snap this open. Um, let's start off with the top here maybe. Okay, cool. We have the calibration part that I will show you shortly. We also have two spools, kind of small spools. You see here, they're really, really, really small. Um, 350 gram. We have 2.85 millimeter PVA, interesting. And we have 2.85 millimeter PLA from Ultimaker, which is silver metallic. So that's pretty cool. Let's open the top. So hopefully you can see here the uh, the material, the spool. So this is the second one. I'm just gonna put those there. We also have this thing, the accessory box. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to see what's inside. And what else? Well, we have a front panel. See if we can get that away. And we have the back panel. <laughs> so there we go, everything's gone. No, don't be don't, don't be gentle when you're doing unboxing. So let's just get this for here correct. Now, okay, let's um, let's have a little bit of a look here. What's the, the machine? It's secured here by two straps. So I'll probably have to change those before we get going. Other than that, it looks good. It's As you can see, it's been repacked by Credit Tools that I received this unit from. So there's some stickers for that. There's no glass plate, so I assume that's inside of this. So let's continue with the accessory box unboxing. Voila. Okay, so we have a quick start guide on how to get going. Remove packaging, install printer, blah, 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 blah. Exciting. We'll have a look at that just shortly. We also have the calibration plates, which states that something looking good. Look at the line jewel. Okay. Okay, so actually I have to do like a calibration from the machine to make sure that we do that. We have a glass plate, which I've been using, so sorry about the, the uh, stuff on it. And there's actually no cover right now. There is on a new machine, but I opened this one. We have a Ethernet cable and we also have a UV stick of glue, which I forgot to pack down again. So we'll place this just around here with the materials as well. We'll just move some of this stuff here so you don't get, get confused. Ooh, we have two print cores. We actually have two print cores. That's pretty exciting. 
So we'll have a zoom at those in just a little bit of a second as well. So those goes into the machine. If there's two here, but I saw an nozzle as well, so maybe I have three of them. I will uh, I will have to check that, but that's that's pretty nice. Let's get those just in there. What else do we have? We have the filament spool with a cable. Oops, that's full part. All right, so that's uh, 3D printed. Which way? It must be this way. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. I guess that's. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. And we have a cable, which I saw here that you have to plug in on the underneath, so you get the NFC functions in, in the materials here, which is pretty neat actually. We also get some Unilube, which is great for lubing the machine, and we get some Magnalube, even stronger lube, I guess, I don't know why. We also get a uh, Allen wrench, I think it is, is called. Let's see if I can tinker around. We got some. Okay, so the spool holder of your 3D printer has been printed with Ultimaker 3. We have a very thin 16GB memory card, because this machine takes USB and not memory cards. What else do we have? We have a calibration card, you know, the, where we calibrate it, but we shouldn't need this, it's auto-calibrated, right? So I guess that's good to have. We also have the two print nozzles, I'll take those out and just leave here. They look pretty cool actually, I like them. And in here we have a power brick, massive power brick. And uh, that's actually all. So uh, that's what you get inside the Ultimaker 3. Let's just uh, take a few close-ups and I'll have to save the rest for the review that is coming soon. So uh, thanks for watching, enjoy the view shots. Make sure you subscribe for the review which is coming probably in two or three weeks when this is uploaded. So mid-November and end of November. Um, thanks for watching, enjoy the beauty shots.